Hey, what's up, everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight, we're comparing these three waters. First up is Table Rock Spring Water from the Fresh Market. Next up is Electrolyte Enhanced Water from the Fresh Market. Also, these are both from the same store. They're both from the Fresh Market. Next up is Alcame Water. This is from a small health store in Philadelphia. And so, all three of these are pretty good waters. They made it to round four. They beat out, you know, dozens of other waters to make it to this round. And tonight we're going to find out which one of these three moves on to round five. This is only the third video for round four that I've ever done. So, you know, only nine waters have made it to round four so far. So, you know, these are automatically get like a thumbs up because they, they've beat out so many other waters already and so we're gonna just do a taste test comparison and decide which one I think tastes best here's the electrolyte enhanced water no smell which is actually a good sign it's a very good water it's got a pretty thick plastic container, you know, the nice solid um, full-size cap. When I, I actually had to go back to the Fresh Market, it's like an hour bus to get there, an hour bus back. I had to go back to get more of these waters because I didn't, I didn't think it was going to make it to round, um, I didn't think either of these would make it to round four, but they surprised me and they did, so I had to go back and get more of them. And when I was back there, I found out that there's a different version of this electrolyte enhanced water. It's a smaller 750 milliliter bottle with a, you know, mouth suction lid. And so, just letting you know there's also that. <laughs> but, um, but this is the one I started with, so I'm going to keep on using this one. So this says it's electrolyte enhanced. Electrolytes are basically like types of sodium. And it says that it has potassium added to it, calcium and magnesium. Those are the electrolytes added to it. But it's not so much added to it because the sodium level is still 0%. It's still 0 milligrams. So they're, they're not, like, dumping in tons of electrolytes. It's just, you know, just a pinch of electrolytes added to it. So the flavor is not, like, overwhelming. All right. And obviously, like, you can see how much I just drank. That's, like, a good sign that it's a good water. Because if it tasted bad, I would not be chugging it like that. Here is Table Rock Spring Water. This is also from the Fresh Market. This is from North Carolina. And it's the only water whose source is protected by the Congressional Wilderness, Na Wilderness Act. It's a really good water. <laughs> this is a lot of water. This is one and a half liters. This is one liter. Um, this small container is Alcame water. This container has a lot of claims on it. This is supposed to have a high pH level. And it's the bottle says this water is proven to boost your immune system and it's supposed to have faster hydration whatever that means how it like if it's water how would one water have a faster hydration than another i don't know it also claims to have faster muscle recovery from drinking this water and it's supposed to improve your metabolism and 
you can see here it, it shows all these other claims. I'm, I'm just saying some of them. It has lots of claims. And then if you rotate the bottle in small font, it says, well, actually, none of these claims are <laughs> verified by the FDA. Um, so who really knows if they're, you know, true claims or not. Uh, but here we go. Let's taste this water. It's got the darker plastic. I think it's supposed to protect it from UV rays. And, uh, it's, you know, it's a pretty good bottle. It's nice and thick. No, no smell to this one. Kind of a, like a, a slight, uh, like a sweet taste to it. Like, you know, tiny, tiny bit, like, like a, maybe a berry taste to it. Um, but it's a really good water. All right. So I'm going to start off by eliminating the Alcane water. Um, I think the first time I had it, I actually <clears throat> enjoyed, like, the slight berry taste to it. But maybe I'm just in a different mood now or something. Because this is all very subjective when it comes down to the taste of the water. But right now, I'm in the mood, I guess, for just a very pure water. And I don't want the, the berry taste. Um, so I'm going to eliminate this. This still gets a thumbs up. This is still a very good water. But uh, just at the moment, I prefer these two. This small bottle is a dollar and forty nine cents. Table Rock Spring Water is ninety nine cents. And this big bottle is two dollars. And this small electrolyte version is a dollar and twenty nine cents. So they're all pretty close. Um I, mean, I guess this is kind of the most expensive because it's it's you know the smallest bottle. So it's the most expensive per fluid ounce. But they're all you know relatively close. None of them is super cheap. None of them is super expensive. I think the thing that the thing that these three have in common is none of them are super well known. Like, if you Google these, nobody else is really doing reviews on any of these three. Like, there's no reviews, there's no, like, there's no web presence for any of three of these. So it's kind of weird for them to make it to round four. Usually, if, if they're that good, usually they, um, they're pretty popular and well-known. This is a lot of water. I can really feel my, uh, feel like I'm having a baby. My, stomach, my stomach's really filling up. All right. So, taste is very close, but I gotta give it to the Table Rock Spring Water. I think it just tastes better. So, nothing else really to say about it. Um, I, I kind of like that it does not have the added electrolytes. It's just a pure, clean water. So, congratulations. You're moving on to round five. 